what I'm talking about today to you is a new sleeping bag. Oh, exciting, isn't it? Evening from a very pleasant little place in Scotland. Although the midges are starting to come out now. Beautiful location this. I'll put the details in the information section. But it's in Galloway Forest Park in Scotland. It's a dark sky area so I'm, because it's a very clear evening, I'm fully expecting to see the stars tonight. And I've set the tent up in a configuration that only has half of the fly sheet on and it's the MSR Elixir 2. You can set it up with a full fly, no fly, half fly. I've set it up with the half fly. But what I'm talking about today to you is a new sleeping bag. Oh, exciting, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm going to have to refer to notes made at the time because memory's not what it was. But I have two sleeping bags. One is a summer sleeping bag that I've had for years. I think maybe around about 10 years. And it was a relatively cheap one. It served its purpose. In the middle of summer, in the middle of summer, when it's warm, it's fine. But what I found was that it's not so fine if it's cool. It's not so fine if it's not summer, <laughs> so spring, autumn, winter. <laughs> However, I also have a winter sleeping bag. So I'm going to tell you what I've got and the ratings and everything, well, the details, to put into perspective what I've bought. So, the one that I'm replacing really is the, the old, I can't even remember the brand of it, I've just had it so long. And it's a, it's a nylon rectangular sleeping bag. I like the rectangular ones, just give you a bit more room. It's uh, typically uh, 1.9 meters, so 190 centimeters by 75 centimeters. Uh, the pack size is quite small, which is why I bought it, which is 20 centimeters by 13 centimeters. And it weighs 700 grams. So all in all, it's done its job served its purpose, packed small, relatively light, well it is light, it has a synthetic fill and the comfort factor is 15 degrees centigrade and that's the reason why it's only really good for summer, certainly in the United Kingdom where the weather can change. Last weekend I was camping in Ullswater in the Lake District and it was wet, windy and it was cold. But I used a throw, like a um, Norwegian blanket they call, to, uh, to, to increase the warmth of it. And that's fine, but it's bulky. It's really good, but it's bulky. So, there is no low set, obviously the comfort factor is 15 degrees centigrade. And in the UK, it'd be below that most of the time at night. <laughs> and the low figure is circa round about 10 degrees it doesn't say on the packaging but i think 10 degrees centigrade is, is about as low as you'd want to go with that bag so that's the one that i'm replacing but i also have a winter bag which um, i have reviewed and that's the uh, snug pack softy elite 4. it's one that they make for um well make for us but they also make for military. They make a lot of stuff for military. So that's superb in winter. Um, it's a mummy bag, but it's expandable. And if you look at the, look at the uh, review I've done it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So although it's a mummy one, it feels a bit more like a rectangular one when you expand it. But it's too warm in summer. <laughs> it is a proper winter bag. 
and I would say autumn winter is its time I used it last year it's now 20, 2021 I used it last year 2020 in late October in freezing conditions and it was warm as toast brilliant snug pack softy elite 4 if you want a really warm winter bag well constructed made for the military that's your one um, that's 2.2 uh, meters so it's a longer bag but you can shorten it so it's synthetic as well waterproof um, outer shell the cheapo isn't and here's the thing the pack size is 28 centimeters by 24 centimeters so it's you know it's quite a big well, it's not as big as some I've seen on the on the shelves in go outdoors and other places like that but um, so no it's 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 reasonable actually but I want to pack light I want to travel light so the comfort factor of the snug pack softy elite 4 is minus 10 degrees centigrade comfort factor so UK that's absolutely fine the low setting is minus 15 anyway just talking about those is to put things into perspective as to why I've bought what I've bought <clears throat> oh the midges are coming out now you can't see them but I can see them but what about this for a backdrop what about this this is beautiful isn't it sun's going down now dark sky area here in Galloway Forest so I should see the stars tonight should see them all anyhow so I've given you a perspective I've got a old lightweight middle of the summer bag and it's served me so well and I've got a proper proper winter snug pack softy elite 4 which will do any condition here in the UK for me so really I needed to well I got to the point where to pack light with the summer bag I needed to change it so I needed to upgrade it <clears throat> and what I was looking for was something that wasn't going to be a winter bag but was going to see the UK cooler climate conditions for really spring summer autumn and leave the snug pack for their winter proper winter camping so I needed something that was still very lightweight small pack but a bit warmer and I've been watching a particular bag for over hmm, probably about six or seven months now and eventually I after last weekend I decided to bite the bullet and buy it so I've replaced the cheap sleeping bag that serviced me well with a new sleeping bag and it's a nature hike you might recall the brand as I've had a couple of have I have a nature hike tent and I've had another tent from nature hike which I subsequently sold the cloud up 2 is the one I've currently got and you might have seen reviews of that and I rate it so highly it's uh, superb although this weekend I'm using the MSR elixir 2 that I've had for uh, probably about 12 18 months and I rate that highly as well it's a bit difficult between the two but the nature hike is a kilogram less in weight although the MSI is probably a more livable tent oh we're getting on to tents aren't we back to two sleeping bags so what we've bought is the nature hike CW280 ultralight down sleeping bag now I've got the details I'm gonna to have to look at them because I, I can't recall all the details about it but it's a replacing the cheap one and it's a rectangular bag so I like rectangular bags it's a in size it's 190 by 72 centimeters so roughly the same size as the cheapo that I've got uh, it's got goose down filling the comfort factor is eight degrees centigrade so it's not a winter bag 
but eight degrees centigrade will cope with most of the spring summer and autumn early autumn in the UK we're talking here uh, the low temperature on the uh, bag is two degrees centigrade therefore not a not a winter bag pack size is 26 centimeters by 12 centimeters now I haven't compressed this down yet uh, it's still got quite a bit of compression that you can do on it but it will compress down to 26 by 12 the weight is 570 grams so it's lighter than the cheapo that I've had great service out of um, and the actual fabric is a 15 denier 400t nylon uh, described as being waterproof so possibly similar to the snug pack in its uh, waterproofness and when they say waterproof I think it just means that you know with a if it was out in a shower it wouldn't get wet inside I don't know but it's described as waterproof um, you can like a lot of these sleeping bags you can uh, take two of them and join them up into a double sleeping bag and I paid 95 pounds and that's a 2021 price so having done a bit of research this fitted the bill for everything I wanted to replace the cheap lightweight one that I've got and it should give me a greater degree of lower temperature for the British summer well spring summer and autumn but remember I've got my snug pack softy elite for for real cool winter camping so I've not looked at it other than pictures so should we have a look at it um, let's say the labels are still on and uh, oops so it, yeah it's got a if you can see it's just got a little cover that slides over the top of the opening with little clips so we just <clears throat> well that's one clip <laughs> so it has one clip there and then the rest are just to loosen it off and by loosening it off you can see it expanding so it's partly uh, partly uh, so that's in that's in its full unexpanded sorry that's in its full expanded version so it will co compress down probably to about there and maybe a little bit more but that's uncom and that to be honest is perfectly fine that'll fit my bike my use just as it is so what we're gonna do just take the slip the top off so it's just a cover to go over the top and then you've got typically um, a little <coughs> clip there So we just open that up so the drawstring basically just to tighten it down and first look at it for me there's plenty of reviews on these on uh, YouTube but obviously this is mine it's my channel so I'll do a review it comes with a a netting so that when you're storing it at home it's not compressed you store it in that piece of netting with a drawstring <coughs> and that keeps it from and that's pretty basic for any sleeping bag comes with that as part of the price and <coughs> this is a first impressions video because I'll need to do a follow-up video when I've used it over a period of maybe four or five times so I can give you a proper assessment of what I think about it but first view is it feels really soft it, it looks shiny but it feels nice and soft obviously feels fairly lightweight but when I start to I mean you, you need to give these a shake when you first open them up and I haven't done that yet but it even without shaking it and getting the down moving around it just feels it does feel quite good actually and remember this isn't isn't to go to 
sub-zero temperatures is just to use within British climatic conditions. So as I've mentioned to you, it's a rectangular bag. And the bag itself has uh, all the details on, as I've already touched on. It's uh, quite a quite a substantial zip. The zip looks really quite good quality, actually. And I haven't seen any information on the zip, but if I do find out further, then I'll let you know. And this is the head end, obviously. Uh, it has uh, a little Velcro patch to just to bring it all together at the top. And then <clears throat> there's your zip. So again, that looks a nice heavy duty zip. And I know that they, uh, they use really good quality zips on their uh, tents, so there's nothing to suggest they wouldn't use a good quality zip on, uh, on a sleeping bag. So let's just see if we can get that down. So, ooh, these midges are biting. <laughs> So the, uh, the zip puller moves from outer to inside the bag quite easily. And it's a bit difficult out here on the, on the slab, on the stones, but the zip um, does move nice and smoothly. Actually really smoothly for a brand new bag. And the interior, the interior is a, well, you can see how shiny the outside is of the bag, and I presume that's the uh, waterproofness of the uh, exterior. And then when you look at the interior, it's duller, and I, you know, I suspect it's not waterproof inside, otherwise it'd be a bit sweaty, wouldn't it? But it's got a lovely feel to it. I'll just zip it back up again. I mean, it's there's nothing much else to to see other than it's a basic rectangular shape. I'll put some pictures on at the end. Yeah that's a that's a good quality zip that. That is uh, that's really good. Just go, just works. Just doesn't snag, just works. So I've zipped it back up. You can see there and uh, that's that velcro patch just to hold things in place. Yeah it's got a little uh, drawstring here to bring the sleeping bag in so that it gets nice and snug around your neck. <coughs> so guys, that's the first time I've looked at that uh, bag. Um, I've done a bit of research, like the look of it. Price-wise I thought it was quite good for a down bag. I know it's a Chinese brand but they seem to be, Nature Hikes seem to be, seem to be the sort of Toyotas of the Chinese world in that they are overtly a Chinese brand and to me they appear to be marketing themselves with very good quality products. Now how long they last, whether it works, we'll have to find out. So guys, for me I think that's going to be a really good sleeping bag. But I'm going to go now because the midges are biting, the bee is sat up there waiting for me and I want something to eat. I'll give you a follow-up review once I've used it over a period of time to let you know how, uh, how it's working for me. But so far, that looks pretty good to me. Gosh, these midges are buggers, aren't they? Scottish midges. But it's worth it for the view. Thanks, guys. So, I had my first sleep with the Nature Hike CW280 Ultralight Sleeping Bag. And what is my initial thoughts on it? Well, the weather has been uh, really nice yesterday evening and this morning it's beautiful. 
but the midges are out. With my old sleeping bag, I'd have been too cold last night because the temperatures did drop and I'd have had to use, uh, well I, I have a, what they call Norwegian blanket, which it's like a throw, it goes over the sleeping bag if you need extra warmth, but it's bulky. So this worked tremendously well without having to put any extra cover on. So for me, this has worked already. Obviously I'll uh, see how it goes over a period of time and how it holds up, but this bag is at the moment everything I wanted out of a spring, summer, early autumn sleeping bag and it's worked brilliantly. A couple of things to say about it, the, uh, the actual comfort factor, the feel of the bag uh, is really smooth, it's, uh, it's a really comfortable bag and the zip uh, is heavy duty, it, it is genuinely heavy duty and operates uh, without snagging. The bags work perfectly for me at 5 foot 9, 90 kilogram. If you are a person of the larger size than me, this bag might not be for you because it's quite, feels, it doesn't feel compact to me, but if I was bigger, it wouldn't be the right size. Now, they do do a larger one, and I would be uh, cautious about buying this if you're any larger than, than me. Ta -da. <laughs> no, seriously, it's, uh, it's quite a compact bag. Uh, it fits me fine, but I think anybody of a larger status would uh, struggle with this bag. But guys, the midges are biting. I need to get packed up. So I just thought I'd give you a quick feedback on the bag from a point of view of first use. And it's been very positive. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys. So guys, I didn't get the chance to show you the bag with me in the bag and you know what it looked like uh, when I was camping. So what I've done is when I've got home, um, I've got the bag here now and I'm gonna lay it out get inside the bag just to show you the physical size of it. Because I've made some comments about uh, possibly larger people than me may find this bag a little bit of a tight bag to be in. Perfect for me, but for anybody larger than me, it could be a little bit awkward. But you'll be able to get a bigger version. It's just the one I've got, the CW280. Um, is as it is, it's just perfect for me. So, uh, if you remember, I mentioned that uh, it has a stuff sack to uh, put it in, uh, in its uncompressed form. And that's the, uh, that's the bag there. Obviously, um, it keeps it from being compressed down, which uh, you don't really want to do with any sleeping bag for storage. Uh, I tend not to keep it in this bag because I uh, have a place to store them where they can just naturally store. But um, it keeps it all together and, um, um, and effectively that's the bag. So <clears throat> I've shown you the um, bag in a sort of close up when I was doing the original video and I've made mention of the the uh, outer waterproofness, which you can see with the shiny side, and the inner comfort, which is a dull side, obviously not waterproof. The other thing I commented on was the zips, which um, yeah, they are they are uh, YKK zips. Actually, funnily enough, I missed that on the. Uh, I think I missed that on the first video, but they are YKK zips, if you can see that. And I don't know what the actual size is, but they are pretty heavy duty. It's a heavy duty zip. So, and it worked really well, the zip. It, uh, it was a very comfortable bag, I really enjoyed it. However, the purpose of this is to lay it out, show you it laid out, show you me in it, and just to see how it looks. So, this is the bag laid out. 
It's uh, 190 centimetres long by 75 centimetres wide. I'm going to get into it now and then just zip it up and let you see what it's like. got a really nice feel to it really comfortable and the zips right good quality zips So that's uh, me with my arms on the floor by my side and um, my arms are touching the side wall of the sleeping bag uh, but for, for me it's just just about right well it is right it's perfect um, but you can see from just to get that straight you can see from the width that there isn't a huge amount of space on either side of my body. Once again, good enough for me. And if you see here, there's a little toggle which allows you to draw the uh, sleeping bag around around your neck, elasticated, and that really brings the uh, sleeping bag around that neck to allow for extra warmth in slightly cooler conditions. And if I turn on the side, I'm more than comfortable on the side, curled up in the bag, and there's room for me to, to move my arms about to get to that comfortable position. But well, I'm five foot nine, and actually, uh, I have mentioned the video 90 kilogram. I have lost a bit of weight actually, I'm 85 kilogram. I've measured myself, weighed myself. So, <clears throat> so for me, at 85 kilogram, five foot nine this is working perfectly for me it feels really snug and obviously um, if you get to the point where you're getting too warm with any sleeping bag you just dip, zip down the sides wherever they're at that's it so just zip the side down to vent and then you can vent the thing so yeah I think I just wanted to show you that because um, for anybody that's that sort of rather larger size, I don't think this bag would be suitable. For me, it's actually worked out perfect, and I'm really happy with uh, with that purchase. So, guys, fantastic bag, ideal for everything I've explained in the first video about the reason for buying this. However, just be warned, it's fairly compact if you're of a larger size. Thanks for watching guys, keep safe.